will have the first possession. USC already switching screens up top. Turnover to start the way. Some slow starts for UCLA. I've given them trouble. A little travel by Ray Marshall. All alone, Dugalich has range. Bank is open. Well, she banks that in, but she certainly has the ability to go pick and pop up top. top. You like her at the three point and down low as well. Kayla Padilla. Ball in her hand goes all the way to the rack. No good. Betts makes sure there's no second chance. She might not block it, but she certainly influences those shots. Kiki Rice and the crowd explodes. Oz oh, you back to Rhea Marshall. USC shots. Uh, there it's tough London. London Jones. The Nat underneath. Dugalich. No good, but second chance allowed. Osborne. And with that made three, Charisma Osborne moves into sole possession of all time. Three pointers made for UCLA Bruins basketball. Again, the improvement by Charisma Osborne over a year ago. Composure, decision making, the way she's shooting the ball. As you said, Mary, last year wasn't the best year for Osborne. She decides to come back. Rice rips it away. No finish, no second chance. This is Mackenzie Forbes, number 25 in the Cardinals. Betts and Marshall are going at it inside. Yeah, they are, and Betts gets the better of that one. Need a better angle than that against Betts with all that length. Boy, this crowd early just living and dying by every <laughs> shot. Every shot. 13,000. It is packed inside Pauley Pavilion. The first time that UCLA has sold out Pauley Pavilion for a women's basketball game. Uh, they're going to get Kiki Rice with the body. Decides to transfer to Harvard. Harvard. Who leaves Cal and goes to Harvard? <laughs> exactly. Osborne takes a look at it inside. USC. Both teams starting to go to their bench. Uh, Osborne. Osborne's taking it away. And the finish in there. Arcas does everything. She'll be whatever you need to be. How valuable to have a player like Gabriella Hawkins. Makes two. Hawkins disrupting and then all alone, Charisma Osborne with a kiss. UCLA not taking advantage of these misses. Another takeaway, yeah. the turnovers for USC adding up. That's sixth for them. USC is going to have to just really dig in, come off those screens a lot cleaner, take advantage of mismatches. They rely on their big three-point shooters. Forbes and Padilla have got to start cooking. There's the first made bucket. They're going to get a moving screen on Iwala. Caleb Padilla bringing the ball up. London Jones in front of her. Cam Brown tasked with Juju Watkins right now. Brown fouls the shooter. Talking with the assistant coaches. Our defense can be good, but we have yet to play it for 40 minutes. They've had some wobbly fourth quarters. Ohio State comes to mind. Arkansas comes to mind. Yep. But look, both, all three of those teams, just really tough-minded, aggressive teams. And great teams are going to have that comeback ability. From the corner. Rocco not going to allow Betts to get that ball. No second chance. Another foul. No, she's shooting 75% from the line. 
the highest percentage for any Trojan overall, but when you can shoot that percentage, and meanwhile the Bruins have smothered her, there's been no opportunity for Watkins to hit from deep. She has not taken a shot there yet. Here's Ant uh, Dugalich. A smooth move for Dugalich that finishes around the rims. Gonna take advantage of the mismatch, but unable to. And here we go. It's Renadine. Yes. So all the offensive struggles from USC, forget about it. They come in, they start playing their game, relax. Juju Watkins gets to the free throw line a couple of times, and things start opening up. A 9-0 run by the Trojans in this last minute and 20 seconds. Final seconds of the first. Hawkes takes the shot. And we end the first quarter on a flurry from SC. Great accomplishment for USC is Lauren Betts did not make a field goal. And when you're shooting 80% from the floor, that's a big time accomplishment. And they got Kiki Rice sitting. Kiki Rice really drives this team on both ends. Keeps the composure, handles pressure. Now Kiki Rice played just a little over five minutes so far. Juju coming through, lots of traffic. She's able to get through and one. The thing that's most impressive is what a small amount of space that was to make three really impressive moves. We have a one-point game. And still offensive rebounds. UCLA has six. USC nine, and that's drained. That's the first. In motion, in rhythm, receive, shoot. Too much time. After being down at 10 by 10 early. USC now leading. Betts evens it up. All room. Really Marshall thought about it, decides to go inside. No foul. Pretty. Osborne deep. Neither of these teams at their usual field goal percentage because the defense is peripatetic. Look at Juju flying in. London goes in, under, and around. And with a tie up. Forbes steps back, says you're back in. Don't touch anybody. There's the roof coming down on London Jones. Juju Watkins, Sontag in front. That's what they say about Sontag. And she says, okay, gets one. How many shots has UCLA mi missed from five feet in? Oh, hesitation. Oh, they're shooting 23% from the field. Juju Watkins looking perfect. Six rebounds as well. See what kind of work UCLA can get done while Juju Watkins is out. And plenty of other great talent. London Jones has room and nails it. London Jones, a player that just changes the game on the dime. No room. Baseline, you think it's sealed, but ball pops up and in. Caitlin Davis goes by KD over Betts and Santa. That's a big time job. Amazing. The freshman of the week continuously. Speaking of high scoring, how about Jalen Sherrod with 35 today in the win over Utah? USA basketball this past summer really helped add to her game. Oh. Knocked 
down. <laughs> Forbes coming off a career high against Long Beach State. Oh, here she goes again. It's her third made three today. London Jones, the leading scorer by double for UCLA right now. Juju Watkins fouled by Iwala. Makes the back end of that. So smooth. Into bets. She has some room. UCLA has made their last four shots. Juju Watkins coming around. And Mackenzie Forbes is at the line. And reigning Ann Meyer Drysdale. 13 of 16 from the line in that game. London Jones, a little shovel underneath to Betts. The whole thing, a little bit of pressure relief, just dishes it inside. Nice open shot by Betts. Watkins kicks it out. Plenty of time on the clock, 14. Forbes thinks she sees something she likes, finishes with her right and a little bit of spin. That rhymed me. I know. Higher so I'm you can go by. I guess so. It's musical. Little step back from Charisma Osborne, and now we're seeing. Yeah, they've made all six of their last shots. UCLA has. Charisma Osborne. Trying to get on Watkins. Bounces around and good. Locks Osborne and just is able to take that shot. Dugalich with a long three. Hawkins. Tough as nails goes in to get that rebound. It's Bigsby. Bigby. Gigi Watkins to the corner. So smooth by Forbes. Boy, she is the Robin to uh, Juju Watkins, Batman. Oh, wow. From the 10 freeway. It's all about confidence with Juju. 13 seconds left on the clock. Final seconds on the shot clock. No good. London Jones has to chuck it. What a first half at UCLA. Yeah, Lauren Betts averages almost 17 points per game. Just seven. London Jones takes a look at it first. Everybody knows she can knock it. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Kiki Rice pulls up. So good. Well, you have to make teams pay for that double. USC not as deep as UCLA. Do they tire at all? Now, especially in the post. UCLA has a lot of options besides bets. Perfect example right there. Bet she comes out. Padilla all over Kiki Rice. Rice off the screen, knocks it down. Juju Watkins gets hot from beyond the arc. It's a game changer. There's a turnover for USC. Back and forth, little give and go, and Watkins. It's important for people watching the game to appreciate Juju Watkins is 6'2". And Kiki Rice, the steadying force. You know, she's not loud or flashy and all that. She's kind of quiet to the outside. I don't know how she is with her team, but she has calming presence on the floor, undoubtedly. Rhea Marshall. 
Got both bets and Dougal each in front of us. Composed shot. The double was common. Just take what the defense gives you. Strong score. Marshall playing center field. Now Rice comes back at the free throw line right. again. We saw UCLA do this in the first half, just build that lead up. And then you can see how much respect Rice has for it. Graham Marshall coming around. That's a block. Third block for Betts. Beautiful pass. Wow, fed inside. Finish not there, and Betts not. Come back to yep. you at the end of the game. Exactly right. Didn't make either of those. Heading down, Rice on top of her. London comes to join. Betts comes to join. And it's still Trojan. But Trojans came roaring back. Right in the second half, Betts fourth block for her. London Jones on the ground. It's picked up. Maria Marshall begging for it. Juju oh. takes the shot out. Marshall, no put back. Third time? Nope. That's a discouraging offensive possession for the Trojans. Inside, nope. London Jones. Not scored in the last two minutes and 40 seconds. Betts is doing a much better job stepping up on Watkins instead of being a step and a half behind it. Here's Beth this way, and there's the finish. SC came charging back. Let's see what they can do this time. Cameron Brown in front. And Juju Watkins. Or perhaps more attention to detail by the UCLA players. Akumapo is right on the top. She missed her last two. going to look to Fowler. Important for Beck. Jubilich on Watkins. Everybody on Watkins as she tries to come in. Oh. Hawkes driving inside. Kicks out to Kiki. No good. Here goes Watkins and USC. Osborne in front. And Waffle finish. So a lot of that yesterday in the Stanford Cal game. Kiki Iriopin just run the floor like she was uh, doing the 100 yard dash. Meanwhile, oh, Dugan is right over the top, pops it out. USC ball now. Juju stops, takes her own. Oh, great recovery. How about that hustle and the long ball? Osborne's been very quiet since the first quarter. <laughs> Picked out. Brought in. Over the shoulder. Watkins trying to come down baseline. Kiki Rice has it closed off. Betts. Big stop for UCLA. Uh, on a platter. It's a perfect expression. Oh, her head's just up. Just wherever she sees it. Forbes right back at you. Forbes will kind of make you write some names down, right? Because she is really playing well. Yep, grad student, as I mentioned earlier, transfer from Harvard. Now she hit her last two. In the line, but as you mentioned, has been struggling. Just four points, two of nine shooting. Can't leave that one off. UCLA outscoring USC 18 to 12 so far in this quarter. Juju Watkins with Sutton Tack in front of her. That's just the pro red. Looks for it, can't find it, so takes her own. This Charisma Osborne, really great decision. The pass was not there. 
No good the other way on the finish. And we'll head to the fourth with UCLA. 41% from the floor this year. 54. Incredible. Here's Padilla. If USC is to overcome UCLA, Mary, what do they need to accomplish in this quarter? Well, great start there. Just start making shots. Juju Watkins. The most important thing is Watkins doesn't pick up that fourth person foul. Sontag can hit the three, too. She can do a little bit of everything. Watkins on her way. Surrounded by Bruins, takes the shot. Jumps by Lindsey Gottlieb, but look at all the transfers USC has coming in, people. Modi not sure what this was going to look like. That's what futility wow. looks like, people. Yeah. The definition. Futility. Watkins Great over the top. Out. Darius retrieves it. Coming right through it, bull in a China shop. She wants to be an NBA coach or a general manager. That's the goal. That's where she's headed. And when you look at video back from her freshman year at Cal, how she has transformed her body. Oh, yeah. What a pass from Duglich over to Rice, and there we go again, point blank. And add that one to the rear. Four points. Padilla's been quiet. She can go off. Shoots a great percentage from three. Forbes. I mean, just warming up. That's gorgeous. This is a statement game. Coming off a career high against Long Beach State. Just picking up where she left off. 23 points for Forbes right now. Leads all scorers on the floor. Juju Watkins with 22. Osborne, it doesn't go, and here's a chance for USC to tie it back up. <laughs> Forbes, there it comes. Just going to go on her own. Padilla's there for Rice. And then Jones, a little pump. So unselfish. Yep. First points of the fourth quarter. Forbes going to go on her own again. It's tough. Kiki Rice, that right hand trying to finish. That under the basket is usually owned by the Bruins. Juju Come from on. deep. I am Juju Watkins. Say my name. <laughs> Six seconds remaining on the shot clock. London Jones. Crowd is loving it. The shootout is on at Pauly. What a game for London Jones. 18 points. Rhea Marshall makes her mark. In the bets. Ford steps right in. Shot clock is at seven. Spectacular recognition from Osborne. Give it a second, give it a second, lost it up there. Beautiful. Osborne's fifth assist of this game. Osborne, again, picture perfect defense. Charisma Osborne. Let me tell you something about Charisma Osborne. I don't think Forbes can go one on one either, which he's done these last two possessions. London Jones, she's got these fans unconscious. London Jones fan club, 13,000 strong. Nobody has played more than Charisma Osborne. Except for, of course, Juju Watkins, who's at 37. Hmm. Forbes denied. Betts. That was seven blocks. Back in the 
Betts, Rhea Marshall working with Lauren Betts. Does enough to disrupt. Here come the Trojans down by seven. Two minutes remaining. Juju Watkins goes down very hard. What composure. It's just her will. I, I mean, it is just impressive to, huh, to watch. The bad flip side of that is SC hasn't scored for the last three minutes. For the field goals, I should say, for the last three. Denied. Yeah, that's going to be Juju. To just have one personal foul, it just doesn't even seem possible. Yeah. For Lauren Betts. She's 439 from deep, Big B is. That one off the mark the second it left. Take away. Padilla. Oh, that would have been big. Yeah. Comes up just a little short, and there's a ball. What a takeaway. That was so smooth from Watkins. Wow, a magician. Still got 10 seconds left on the clock. And they're going to use as much of it as they can. Here's Betts. Second chance. Nope. William Marshall's got it, but there's 40 seconds remaining in the game. Not even I see down by seven. Time ticking off the clock. A couple of three-point shots coming up short there. Could have changed the difference. Fans on their feet. 13,780 tickets. A sold-out game between two undefeateds. Lindsay Gottlieb said everywhere she went this week, people wanted to talk about the big game. Dominique Darius fouled. There have been great games all around. Colorado, Utah earlier today was a really nice game. Oregon, Oregon, Oregon State. Oregon State undefeated. And Oregon's will be coming down here and play. Charisma Osborne, nine points. And there she gets her double figure points against Juju Watkins, who did not get 30 as she has been doing consistently. Uh oh. And there you go. UCLA remains undefeated and takes down Southern California.